Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. okay. I like the change over to uh, to Pithra. Uh, the Mithra will be able to get in a lot easier and uh, doesn't take a lot of damage. <laughs> you know, that's just uh, <laughs> doing 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 me a disservice right now, Burst. Uh, no, but it, it, what I was saying is, you know, facing. Wow, that is just a harsh first stock by Panda Bear. You could not, not have commentator cursed this man any more than yeah, you potentially really. had. Um, but no, Pan uh, Panda Bear, and uh, especially Villager, is he's such a mentally taxing character because he's he's usually keeping you out. So cool. He can it, it just it'll just eat at you. And if you've already lost once, then you're already then you're going back against this very very good zoner uh, for a second time around. And I, I it, it really comes down to how you adjust. Yeah, it just takes so it's it's so much time. Villager can just waste so much of your time just by doing this. He just runs off platforms, back air, forward air, Lloyd, one or two of them, and you try to get in. And Panda has talked to me about this before. I mean, you throw that Lloyd rocket out out there. People have like three options: they get hit by it, shield it, or they uh, jump over it. And yeah. if Panda reads the right one, you're just gonna take. 15 more damage over yeah. and over again. And it just resets the situation, exactly. which is so hard because it just becomes this game of rock, paper, scissors um, where every every loss it just puts you closer and closer to death. And the thing is, uh, Villager also has good box, like, not literal, I mean, the literal boxing. The literal boxing. But box. his his uh, his frame date is pretty nice as uh, as far as playing neutral. He can he can down smash some shields with the best of them, really. Uh-huh, yeah. His his smash techs, usually, usually Panda likes to play them as trap tools. You'll, yeah. you'll see him, like, throw out tree a lot, turn around bowling ball. You'll see him put someone on the platform above him, go to the other side of it, up smash. You know, he's not really the raw ripping F smashes type of guy. He's he is an elite trapper at heart. Yeah. And it's okay. The beat, the, the beat to kind of give him a bit more uh, horizontal momentum. I didn't know that was an option, but good stuff from first. Yeah. Ooh, I like that as an idea to deal with Lloyd, but not quite working out this time around. And yeah, just yeah at a that point. Quick little down tilt. Yeah. So this is actually interesting for me because this is like one of those situations where, you know, I, I take a year break from Smash. I have no interest in online Smash or anything. I just, I miss a whole slew of things. This is like the second time I've seen her. Like, it's, she's a brand new, like, she could have came out tomorrow for me. <laughs> so. Yeah, she's a she's a really interesting character because uh, because they both what what each character does they do so so well. Yeah. Aside from recovery, recovery is like this character's biggest nemesis. And Panda's really good at making you suffer off stage for like ten years. Yeah. He he pretty much. I mean, he can't really he can't really go to. Uh, he can't really. Ooh. I was gonna say you can't really go on the stage. Only one bowling ball will hit in a hundred. You drop up, drop off stage. But you know what? When you hit that bowling ball, the All other right. previous weight was can, all worth. Can I run a question by you, real yeah. quick? I'm, I'm, I'm curious what your stance is. Is so it about bowling? It's balls? about yeah. It's, okay. it's specifically about villagers bowling. That's ball. all I know. All right. So why, uh -huh. why uh -huh. does villager charging bowling ball make it stronger? He just, <laughs> he just drops it. He just drops it. <laughs> He's not throwing it. I know he's not throwing it. <laughs> What's he doing you know, to it? He's very, you very, you have a really good point, and I'm mad because I don't know. Like I'm really trying to think of like I want to be cheeky with it because yeah. I'm the Animal Crossing guy. I debatably know about as much about Animal Crossing as Panda Bear does. So okay. I want to think of like an Animal Crossing esque reason. Bold call out, hey Panda Bear. Uh, Money Man. I think I've told him this before. In Animal, in Animal Crossing oh. trivia. Yeah. yeah. I'd win. I'd have a good shot. He kept the the how how do you refer to this character? Pithra. 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 Yes. Because it is Pyra and Mithra. Mithra. Yeah. So I have never played a Xenoblade game in my entire life. Uh, I I think he's got the problem is like I don't know most from what I've seen most uh, most Pithra mains have a have a better Pyra than Mithra uh, okay. just because their combo strings. <laughs> are, also, her downer is brutal. Did I mention that? Her downer is absolutely brutal. It is huge, and it spikes for days. That's great. A lot of the time, Panda doesn't care about stuff like that because usually just one balloon pops, but no balloons were able even to come out. 
Yeah, and something that we saw uh, in game one is that the 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 downer will interact with the balloons. Yeah, and that'll extend oh. the hitbox into stuff like that. This is this is actually kind of a problem for, for Panda because this mixes up the timing of when he has to worry about that. He can't do his little drop down jump slingshot that he normally likes to do uh, because that downer lingers just a bit longer due to the balloons. This this uh, Pyro right now is making game one feel like a download. Just completely trying to analyze everything Panda's going to throw out yeah. and just mix it up completely next time around. Yeah, that's a, that, is, that that will still be a dead Pyra. Um, that off stage is going to be so important for Panda. Like, look that at that. Last, that, that, sh that was a tree assist right there. Yup, and he'll follow it up with the fair. I, I, I think Panda Bear is kind of selling out with the uh, the air dodge a little too soon. Um, and I only say that because he's playing against Pyra, who's such a nightmare to get hit by off stage because the down air, the fair, both brutal kill options. I mean, even the back air kills off the top super early. So it's, I don't know, you can't give up, I feel like you can't give up the air dodge so soon. And man, this down air mm. is just putting in mounds of work in this matchup. Yeah, even when it isn't killing, it, it just resets Panda's position down off stage where he has to get back on and deal with the same move again. Yeah. And it, it really, in, in this case, it just kind of comes down to uh, to Burst's timing uh, with the down air. And These pellets are brutal, though. That was a good weight on the air dodge. You can do anything with it. Yeah. And that's and and using using the leave her, leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but they, they oh. the the use of air dodge is going to be so important off stage for both of them uh, for completely different reasons because villager that lands yeah, yeah right into it yeah that, that's a big land it's going to be getting back to stage is going to be so much tougher than when he was playing dark pit but i feel like just this down air just offers so much Whew. that shield does some damage oh and up smash just straight through that that pirate down air he's juggling it right now yeah, and this is where it gets really dangerous for uh, for Burst because he's just kind of caught on the back heel. Nice air dodge, though, to make space. And that the back was air. huge, actually, yeah. because Panda sort of had... He sort of had burst in a melting pot there for a little while. It just kept he kept reading the landing options perfectly yeah. and was just building damage. And then all Burst needed was one mess up by Panda, immediately back air, and that kills. So that was nice. That was well done. Yeah. Great job by Burst to kind of remain calm uh, in that offstage situation. And that's that's really going to be what it comes down to, I think, is these offstage interactions. I think it'd be really cool. Like, this is, like, the first, like, official tri-point back. And I love Panda. I love Villager. But to have, like, Burst go against Ned, this, like, sort of, like, new gen. And Burst isn't, like, super new, but, like, new to this scene, yeah. at least, versus Ned. That would be a really cool, like, second coming of Chicago Ultimate Smash. I am interested to see how Panda deals with this loss, however. Hasn't immediately switched to the Pyra. Oh, there it goes. Um, I kind of figured he'd just go straight into the Pyra just because of how like well it worked out for him. I feel like Panda's just not quite getting the amount of space that he was in his first few games, um, which is really just a testament to, to Burst and his pressure. Kind of off stage. This one feels a lot more balanced. Ooh. Oh, that was. Oh, it does make it back to stage though. Enough time for Panda to set up some traps. Gotta love that tree. Good mix up though. Not going with the bowling ball. Just trying to. At this point, Panda just wants to keep burst off stage for as long as possible. Yeah. Um. Because he, he, if he can capitalize on that, that's going to be worth way more than an individual hit might be. Um, because that's that's ta that's mentally taxing. That's a percent build up, and that's you maintaining advantage. <laughs> what? But in this that case, that move wasn't there anymore. That, yeah, no, that <laughs> move's always there, bro. Down air on Pyra is active, bro. Especially when it hits a Lloyd. Oh, it's like fighting your demons. <laughs> it's so scary. Yeah, man. And here comes the punch from way off stage. Ooh, nice get try. it in under it. Uh, I wonder if that was a positioning error by Panda or if that was just good recovery. But uh, not going to have too long to dwell on it. Panda answering back a lot quicker this game. The, the, the biggest pro the, the, the big problem with that last game was that uh, Burst kind of got the lead and then he never really stopped having, oh, sorry, having the lead. Yeah, he just had 
such good control over neutral after that initial hit. Panda coming back with a vengeance though. This one feels a lot more like game one. Panda has has been able to get away from burst a lot more than game two and start setting things up and getting chip damage in, which is absolutely more preferable for him. Yeah, and I also like that Panda Bear has been kind of preemptively jumping and naring uh, to kind of beat out, because the thing about Pyra that is- that kill? Not yet. Not quite. Great job with the Lloyd into the Blast Zone to kind of maintain his hurt box. Um, but I like that uh, I like that Panda Bear's been preemptively jumping and naring a bit more because Pyro's moves are great, but they do have a bit of startup. Even her best ones like her down air. So if he can just get up there and control that space ahead of time, then Burst won't have the chance to even set up those really dangerous moves. Man, Burst has just been throwing out his sword like crazy. Any I mean, any, any little thing that nicks Panda Bear, it could be de <laughs> <laughs> They are dancing on each other right now. Wow. Panda Bear almost getting sent to the blast zone for it, but surviving and the downer not quite going to land. Hits a balloon, but not a man. Back on stage immediately with the down tilt. Haven't seen that recovery option I, I, this set from Panda, I don't think. A way to mix it up. And now... Now it's just Battle 3 to get who off stage. Actually, I take it back. The turnip prices have risen <laughs> on Battlefield. Knockout bursts uh, second stock. That This is looking bad for Panda Bear, though, right now. Yeah, he's got it. That, that, that Flame Sword's putting in a lot of work as far as the, uh, the off stage pressure, but Panda Bear battling back and finding himself some space. Ooh, bowling Ball Knight quite connect. Tomahawk up tilt. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> that was what I was expecting. <laughs> um, and here comes a lot of punches. I kind of want to. has a great jab. I, I kind of want to call it the leave him alone now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good. Because it almost looks like it doesn't hurt. It's just more annoying. Yeah. It's just <laughs> like, yeah. yeah it, like your little cousin's just hitting you in the thigh with a twig. Yeah. Like, exactly. like you're being beaten up by like a penguin or something. Like just a non. Like an animal, but like a non threatening one. Like not even like really any issue. Ooh, oh, that! Oh, that, I actually that's thought. Dead. Yeah, that was just a big gimp. Yep. I think his only chance possibly was uh, intentionally getting hit by the Lloyd after he got hit by that fair, mm. um, and then maybe using that pop up to uh, to help him survive. But mm. who's to say, really? Um, yeah. Wow. That was just that was a great answer from Panda Bear. Yeah, it was. Uh, and not really what we've been used to seeing this set. It's been mostly like finishing punches that have taken stocks. That was just, I mean, that stuff you got to watch out for Villager, you know, especially if you're going to be off stage a lot and you're playing someone with a questionable recovery. He hasn't really been gimping a whole lot, but that was the first one, and that takes game three. One, go. Right, going into game four, going back to the battlefield, um, I mean, I, I, I feel like this, this stage is pretty good for both characters. The platforms give uh, Burst a few more options as far as trying to move around. And so far, I'm liking the Mithra work. Not going to last very long, though. <laughs> wow, that down air. Doing some work, doing some damage, getting rid of the Lloyd and a bit more percent off of uh, Panda Bear. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, this stage... Yeah, I, I can, I can, okay, so with Villager, Battlefield isn't a bad pick, but I, just with this stage being so close and the platforms, platforms being so close together, I think this is Burst's best opportunity to get sneaky damage in, but I say sneaky damage, kind of just falls off, back airs this man. Yeah, sneaky little edge guard. And also just getting 22 off of that tree. You ever had a tree groan through you? Not in three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, and just a great yeah. little string, and it keeps on going, and that's another burst. Yeah, it stock. is. Panda Bear burst. This is really tense. I mean, it's only been a minute and ten seconds, but already burst on his tournament stock, and Panda Bear still comfortably on stock one. Still got a good like thirty or forty percent before he starts dying to stuff, unless it's the down air. But it's not the down air. Yeah, stalling out that down air by riding the side of the stage a little bit, making sure that doesn't hit him completely, and by the time uh, Burst can think about what to do next, he's already back at ledge. Nice little trick there by Panda. Yeah, and cool. Ooh. Big dash tech. Now, Burst not having taken any percent so far. He's been playing this stock pretty well. I think he realizes the situation he's in. He's going to need to get two more quick stocks, and with some well-timed downers, he could, but it seems like Panda Bear has kind of found his answer to uh, this off-stage this off pressure. Gonna keep going with it too. Might as well stay far away from burst. Do not let him start jungling, juggling you and get that damage Ooh. in that he needs. 
but maybe easier said than done. Panda is once again in the pe that position. And, you know, having those balloons above you, you do feel a little comfortable, but that down air from Pyra is just so threatening. Pa Panda can't feel too great anytime he needs to recover. Yeah, and that's and that's kind of a rarity for a lot of villagers' matchups. Usually, at the very least, you can reach ledge safely. Yeah. Uh, so it, it really says something when Burst can kind of put this much pressure on just just with the down air. A little, a little greedy there. I feel like Panda Bear's trying to make uh, Burst fish for it so that he can get a punish. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like, uh, if that is the case, I, I like that he's willing to throw, like, kind of put his stock in jeopardy for the sake of securing the other stock. Yeah. At the same time, though, it's kind of weird. I, Panda seems like that kind of player will, who will take you to 200% with three stocks left if he needs to. Like, he, he really isn't a, care, uh, a player who really wants to rush out a game. If he's going to get chip damage in, even if you're at 500%, he's going to take the chip damage. Yeah, he is. Yeah, because because you know what, it, 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 no matter what, if you're taking the percent, you're still oh the side B. Oh, getting over to ledge, and he finds his way back, switching back to the Pyra, and they're not quite gonna take it. Side B is a little too far out though to hit. Man, burst is on the brink of death. It's and that'll take do it. Anything scoop. Uh, and the back air or the back throw does count as anything, and that'll be Panda Bear going in to Grand Finals. We 